powerful GPU accelerated workstations are great at delivering demanding graphical, video or compute applications. But could the bulky workstations under the desk in your office be holding your team back? Well, in this video, we'll take a look at virtual GPU infrastructure delivered over a private cloud environment and how it could provide greater productivity and flexibility for your organization. So what do we actually mean by virtual GPU and private cloud? Well, virtual GPU or vGPU simply refers to when the hardware is not installed in the workstation or the laptop that you're working on but in server hardware located remotely in the company data center. It's still your organization's hardware, but each user accesses this centralized GPU resource over a network, either from within your premises or over public networks from anywhere that they need to work. This approach is referred to as a private cloud infrastructure, private being the key word here as your organization's employees are the only users. This is opposed to a public cloud environment where many organizations share a third party cloud providers resources. So why does this approach offer advantages over physical GPU hardware at every desk? Well, firstly, there's flexibility, the ability to work anywhere. As the remote GPUs are accessed over a network, you can be on site, off site, or even on a building site, as long as you have a good enough network link. This allows you to work on complex GPU accelerated applications on devices that couldn't normally support them, such as tablets and lightweight laptops. Secondly, there's resilience. A virtual infrastructure like this also promotes business continuity as users can work from home without issues should the demand require. When the pandemic occurred, organizations with private cloud capabilities had fewer problems in transitioning to a new way of working, whereas companies with large PCs and workstations on or under their desks face many challenges to address that need to work remotely. Next, there are advantages in administration, management and resource utilization. With physical hardware, 10 workstations provide the ability for 10 people to work on 10 CPUs and GPUs. However, those same 10 CPUs and GPUs located together in a central server can provide many options. They can be segregated, allocated and scheduled across many more users or alternatively, large resource can be allocated to a single user with a complex task to complete. What's more, adding in more users and new applications is as simple as software updates. They can be applied to each device over the cloud by doing a single central update and additional capacity can be brought online for new users by allocating extra profiles on the centralized resource or adding additional servers to the data center. With all of these advantages, it must be said that designing, deploying and maintaining a private cloud infrastructure does require some expertise as it involves more considerations than connecting new workstations to your network and installing the software. And this is where Scan IT comes in. We have considerable experience and expertise in the systems and services required to deliver a powerful vGPU private cloud infrastructure. In the next few sections of this video, we're going to go through three scenarios of private cloud deployment, each with a different use case. When it comes to workloads like HPC, machine learning, deep learning and AI, it's not just powerful GPUs that are required to deliver results at pace. It also relies on storage optimized for these tasks and high bandwidth, low latency network connections, ensuring that the server-based GPUs are always receiving data fast enough to be at maximum utilization. For a project like this, the starting point would be a network audit to understand the capabilities of the existing network to deliver high performance compute. Depending on the results of this audit, a network upgrade would be first undertaken to either increase current Ethernet speeds from the more usual 10 to 25 gigabit to faster 100 to 200 gigabit connection to support better throughputs or to install InfiniBand network infrastructure at similar 100 to 200 gigabit speeds. NVIDIA networking products would be the products of choice for the switches. Depending on the network, the servers and storage interface cards need to match the Ethernet or InfiniBand throughput speeds and allow for redundancy by providing multiple connections. NVIDIA Connect X network cards or NVIDIA Bluefield DPUs are used in these cases. 
depending on the management and the software overheads. The servers then need to be configured with enough NVIDIA professional GPUs and AMD EPIC or Intel Xeon CPUs to deliver the number of virtual machines required. This can be through upgrade of existing servers or building new ones. These physical components would be combined with the install of Linux Ubuntu operating system, Docker or Kubernetes software to deliver the containerized environment preferred for most HPC or AI workloads. And finally, the NVIDIA VCS software platform and associated licenses to provide the virtual compute instances. HPC and AI optimized storage based on NVMe SSDs are then added into the solution alongside any required UPS equipment. This complete private cloud infrastructure will then be installed in your or your hosting partner's data center with full configuration, testing and integration with your existing networks. With workloads such as 3D design, animation, simulation, video editing and rendering, it's not just powerful GPUs that are required to deliver resolution and fluidity. It also relies on storage optimised for these tasks and high-speed network connections, ensuring that the server-based GPUs can perform at their best. For projects like this, the starting point would be understanding the nature of the intended workloads, as large complex 3D renderings or high-resolution video would dictate the GPUs required and the connection speeds needed to transmit large files effectively. NVIDIA Professional RTX GPUs would be paired with either AMD EPIC or Intel Xeon CPUs as required. Once the server hardware specs have been determined, then they can be configured with the relevant Windows Server OS and NVIDIA VWS platform added. If a real-time collaboration service like NVIDIA Omniverse Enterprise is required, then Nucleus servers can also be added to the infrastructure. Any network speed upgrades that were identified can be implemented with new switches if these are required and appropriate storage can be added. Options of SSD or tiered SSD and HDD solutions can be considered depending on whether regular access is required versus archive capacity. This complete private cloud infrastructure will then be installed in your or your hosting partner's data center with full configuration, testing and integration with your existing networks. With workloads such as office productivity applications, it's less about delivering powerful compute and more about scale, as virtual desktop infrastructures are often deployed at scale for many employees. As with the above example, the starting point for a project like this is understanding the nature of the workload and the number of concurrent users, as this will dictate the AMD EPIC or Intel Xeon CPUs needed and what level of GPU power is required. As most users will deal with everyday office applications, then physical resources most often split into many virtual instances. Once the server hardware specs have been determined, then they can be configured for the relevant Windows Server operating system and NVIDIA VPC and vApps platform added. For workloads of this nature, there may be no network impacts as high bandwidths are not needed for most VDI deployments. Similarly, existing storage may be easily adapted to a virtual environment, so the complete private cloud infrastructure can be installed in your or your hosting partner's data center with full configuration, testing and integration with your existing networks. Hopefully this video has highlighted the multiple private cloud options that Scan IT can provide, from conception and design through to system building, and then all the way up to install and configuration. If you have any questions at all regarding cloud environments and how they can deliver enhanced flexibility, resilience and functionality, don't hesitate to get in touch. Alternatively, you can leave your comments below and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel so you never miss new content from us. Oh,